Today we're here to show you how to set up your Fox shock on your knuckle box suspension. You're going to put air in through the valve at the top here with a supplied shock pump that given when you got your bike. The main idea is to set up so that when you are sitting on the bike, the shock is sagging down a quarter of the travel distance from the end of here to the end of the stroke of the shock here. One helpful part on the shock is this O-ring. It'll mark where the shock sets down to when you sit on it and then get off letting you know exactly how far you have sagged into the suspension. One great place to start is on the air reference chart. According to your rider weight, you can then set the air pressure in the shock depending on which frame you're riding. To start, I'm going to take the valve cap off of the shock, putting it to the side, and then taking our shock pump, take the straighter end, screwing that onto the shock. Once it's fully engaged, the gauge needle will move to what the pressure is in the shock. You then want to pump that up to what your starting pressure should be according to that gauge. Once you feel that you're there, you can then unscrew this valve from the shock. You will hear a little bit of air come out. That is normal, that is being released from the shock or from the pump, not from the shock. Next, you're gonna take the O-ring on the shock's body, slide it all the way up to the top of the shock, the base of the air can sleeve. Next, you wanna get on the bike, full weight on the bike, so lift your feet off the ground, letting the shock sag into the appropriate spot. Then without compressing it, get off gingerly and checking the distance between the O-ring and the shock body, making sure that it is a quarter of the distance of the entire stroke length of the shock. You can then change the pressures accordingly to get that desired result. Once you're done, take your valve cap, place it onto the shock.